So your PC is running slow, eating up RAM, and you've got a ton of bloatware you never use. Let me show you Sparkle, it fixes all of that in like few minutes. And hey, if this video helps you out, drop a like and subscribe for more PC tips. So let me show you what Sparkle actually does. Here on the first page, you will see dashboard and your system information like CPU, GPU, memory, storage, system. And then here down below, you'll also find this question, PC running slow, try using tweaks to improve system performance. And you can click here on tweaks and you will be redirected here to this page. And here you will find some really cool performance tweaks for your Windows 11 computer under general category, appearance, performance, privacy, gaming, network, and GPU. So here are some of the tweaks which I highly recommend that you guys enable. For example, if you have a desktop computer, I highly recommend that you enable this performance tweak. So ultimate performance power plan, and this will give your desktop computer the best performance. And then here we have another one, which is disable background micro store apps. Here is another one, disable copilot if you don't use it, of course. And then we have also here disable location tracking, disable lock screen tips, disable mouse acceleration for gamers out there. And then here down below, we have enable optimization for windowed games. So make sure that you have this one also enabled if you are gaming on your computer. And then here down below, we have a few more. So the one which I also quite like here is this option, deep load windows. You can click here on apply and you can see here Sparkle has two deep load methods. Sparkle deep load script lets you pick which apps to keep and then we have wrap fire script removes most built-in Windows apps quickly. Both remove bloatware and improve privacy and we can click here on apply. You can see here that it started to applying the tweak deep load windows and here we have the first command choose your deep load approach. Sparkle deep load choose which apps to keep which is recommended and then we have here the second one wrap fires windows 11 deep load comprehensive read docs for details i will go with the first one because it's recommended so here let's click on continue and then here we already have a few of the apps which we can pretty much delete from my windows 11 computer and here i will select the ones which i pretty much don't use on windows 11 so in this case 3d builder 3d viewer then we have amazon bing finance bing food and drink bing health and fitness bing news bing sports bing translator bing travel bing weather and then we have bubble witch 3 sag I will also do this one. Then we have Candy Crush Saga, Candy Crush Soda Saga, Clipchamp. We have Clipchamp Video Editor, Cortana, Dev Home, Disney Plus, Duolingo, Facebook, Farm Wheel 2, Feedback Hub, Get Started. I will also remove this one. And then here we have the Instagram, Mail and Calendar, Maps, Microsoft Copilot, Microsoft Family, Journal, Messaging, News, Teams, Microsoft To Do, Mixed Reality Portal, Movies and TV, Netflix. And then if I scroll here further, we have Office Hub, Office Sway, One Connect, One Drive, One Note, Paint, Pandora. I will leave Paint here on my computer. Also Photos. Then I will remove here Plex, Power Automate, Power B, Prime Video, Print 3D, Skype, Solitary Collection, Sound Recorder. And then here we have the Spotify, which I will leave on my computer. Sticky Notes, I will also leave them here. Themes, TikTok, TuneIn Radio, Twitter, and Twitter Universal. And then here we have all the Xbox services, which I will leave them here to pretty much disable. Now, when I have pretty much everything selected here, I will select here Start Debload. And right now you can see that it started to apply the tweak to debloat my Windows 11 computer. So this is why I like Sparkle Debloater very much because you can just with a few clicks debloat your whole computer and it's super easy to do as well. One thing is which I forgot to tell you, but before you do anything with a Sparkle, you should definitely go here to the start menu and search for the restore point and make sure that you here create one restore point before doing anything here on Windows 11 because this can actually break your Windows 11 computer. However, I think that the deep loader built inside the Sparkle here is very powerful and it can actually remove many of the things from Windows 11. Now here on the left, you will also find the utilities option Let's click here on got it and here you can for example clean your computer you have your system information here fast startup option Windows updates which you can actually disable here by clicking this disable button then we have the graphics driver which you can restart and then here we also have the cleaner so you can for example clean temporary files clean prefetch files 
So this will delete files from the Windows prefetch folder. Then we have empty recycle bin, clean Windows update cache, and also clear thumbnail cache. And then here we can also create another restore point. As I said before, before doing anything here with the Sparkle deep loader, I highly recommend that you create one quick restore point because if anything happens here, you can always go back to the restore point. If I go under the apps, you can, for example, just search for a few of the apps and the Sparkle program will actually install it for you here. So for example, if you check mark Firefox, Firefox Nightly, maybe even Brave, and then here, for example, on Google Chromium, you can just select a few of the apps you, which you want to install. You don't have to actually go on the Google and search for a few of the apps. You can just select them here and click on install selected and Sparkle will actually do it for you. And now I think that Sparkle actually finished here deep loading Windows. So let's go here to the start menu to see which apps are actually still installed. So here we can go to the apps installed applications. So right now let's see which are still installed. And here we can see that we have not so many. Pretty much you can see that we have still here the camera installed. We have still here Microsoft Bing, Microsoft Edge, as well as Microsoft Clipchamp. And if I scroll here down below, we also have the Xbox Live. Maybe I will also have to here restart my computer to actually finish de bloating my Windows 11 computer. So here on the left, you will find this restart button. So whenever, for example, you debloat your computer, you will have to then restart your computer and hopefully every single app which you selected previously on the debloater should be actually gone. Now, let me show you how you guys can install this application. So you can go here to this GitHub. I will also put a link for it in the video description down below, by the way. And once you are here, you can just go click this to download installer or portable version. And here down below, you will find this sparkle.exe file. Make sure that you click on it and you should get here this file. So sparkle setup file. You, then you can go here inside your downloads folder and make sure that you double left click on it and this will pretty much install the Sparkle on your computer. And then here to open it, you can go here to search for the Sparkle and here you will find the app, click on it. Here you will have to click yes for the admin prompt. And this is pretty much it. Now, if you don't want to use Sparkle anymore on your computer, you can also uninstall it. So you can pretty much go here to the settings and then here you can go to the apps, go here to the installed apps and down below here, select Sparkle. So it's right here and click here on the three dots and select here uninstall. So that way you can pretty much also remove Sparkle from your computer. And this is really cool tool because it's also open source. And uh, as I said before, I will also put a link for it in the video description down below. So you guys can also start using it. And this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new one and I will also put a link for it in the video description down below so you guys can check it out. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.